For the first time, we're hearing the voice of the man known as the zombie hunter. Brian Patrick Miller is on trial for the Phoenix Canal murders of two women in the 1990s. And in court today, they played hours of his interrogation tape from 2015 after he was arrested for those crimes. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney has been reporting on this case for more than a year now. And this is never before heard video. Yeah, that's right. It definitely stands out. And what really stands out here is Miller's flat out denial of killing these girls during this interrogation. Yet his defense team has already conceded that he committed these crimes. He was just insane at the time. This video is something the judge will likely take into major consideration when it comes to deciding a verdict. Take a look. How, how can you explain to me that your DNA is there? I can't. I can't remember everything I did back then, but I know I didn't kill anyone. Intense moments just after Brian Patrick Miller was arrested for the murders of Angela Brasso and Melanie Burness in 92 and 93. Decades later, officials matched his DNA to DNA at both crime scenes and evidence of sexual assault with both girls. I've never killed anyone. When I was a teenager, I stabbed that woman. Right. You know, that haunted me for years. He's referring to an incident when he stabbed a woman near the Paradise Valley Mall years before Angela and Melanie were killed. He told the officer in this video he blacked out when he did that. The officer asked about that possibility with Angela and Melanie possible that you could have blacked out and done something like that to somebody and not recall? No, because I knew I had done something when that happened. Miller refers to not knowing Angela Brasso or Melanie Burness's names. The officer says knowing their names doesn't matter, but Miller leans further into that. I think the hard part for me to believe is if my semen is with someone, well, two people that are dead, that's pretty strong evidence. It places you with these women, and you can't explain that. And I don't even recall them. I don't know their names. The officer says Miller's ex-wife told them sex involving bondage would get out of hand and that Miller's mom provided them with a sexual diary Miller wrote, both of which show a tendency toward violence. But Miller says it was all consensual. He does talk about his zombie hunter character that many saw around town. And I wore a gas mask and I had a Nerf gun. And I think I wore a trench coat. And, you know, if you've been cyber stalking, you've seen... Costume. The officer kept bringing the conversation back to his DNA at the crime scenes, though, and asked Miller if he understood what DNA was. DNA could be in semen, blood, saliva. It makes up our, you know, it's our ID. It's our, it tells our body, you know, what hair color we have, what eye color we have. You have to know what happened. No. Your semen is there. That's the only, the only person that does know is you. Now, at one point today, the defense attorney tried to call for a mistrial because some of that interrogation video was supposed to be redacted and it wasn't in court. But since there is no jury and it's only a judge that decides Miller's fate, she said that was declined and this trial will continue. It is a death penalty case. Mm. So, Brianna, we've heard quite a bit of testimony already in this case. Who yeah. else are we expecting to testify? So the defense is expected to start their case next week. Uh, they haven't begun their side of the case yet, so we do have a lot more to go. But there is a high likelihood Brian Miller's <coughs> ex-wife Amy testifies, and there's even a small chance Miller himself may testify. Small chance, but it's not off the table. We also expect to hear from more mental health experts as the defense will try to build their case to the judge that Miller was insane at the time of the crimes, so he is not guilty by reason of insanity. And Morgan Lowe and I will have a new podcast episode coming out in just a few days on this latest week of trial. You can listen on the True Crime Arizona podcast and catch up on what's happened up until this point too, guys. Yeah, we've heard the story, obviously, but it's just interesting to see him go back and forth with and hear him and hear him talking we've yeah. seen the zombie hunter right. we know he's accused of these horrible crimes we've yeah. never been able to put a voice or a yeah. demeanor yeah. with that and we see all person that yeah. yeah so it's definitely interesting very interesting thank you brianna whitney reporting for us on this